it's a gray day out. It's a perfect day for chicken curry, but I don't have any curry powder. So I'm going to make some this morning, and remember, curry powder is just a masala. It's a mix of the spices, but there are four that's pretty common, or five, that you want to include when you make uh, a curry powder, and then from then on, it's just whatever you want to do. But um, turmeric is pretty uh, standard for a curry sauce. Uh, coriander and cumin, you want those, and your black pepper. So if you had just those one, two, three, four, you could make curry powder. But I'm going to put in paprika, cinnamon, cloves, mustard. Oh, what do I have over here? I thought I had cumin. Oh, okay, cumin, and I'm putting in car some cardamom seed. But to do this, I want to roast them first, and I should have the pan on. It's a dry little pan. This little pan only does spices. That is its sole purpose in life. Just to make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, now I'm going to roast them individually and, uh, okay, wait just a minute. I, I had some potato starch on this spoon. I don't want that in there. Okay, so I think I'm going to go by fourth cups and two tablespoons and that sort of thing. In fact, I'm just going to do two tablespoons. At, 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 and I'm putting in the cumin now. I'm putting it in my pan. And the trick is, this is going to roast my spice. And spices, if you, I've never seen fresh cumin, but there, there's got to be fresh cumin because it's a seed from a plant. It would taste a little bit different than the dried cumin. And the dried cumin tastes a little bit different than your roasted. And so they each have a different little flavor to them. And the trick in here is to roast the spices on the heat without burning them. And I should have had my pan heated up because it takes a while to heat up the cast iron. And if you do turn them black, you have to throw them away. They'll just spoil your, your mix. And I'm beginning to smell it, so that is indication they're beginning to roast. And that's what you want to be able to do, to smell those Seeds, oh boy. Okay. I'm going to turn down my flame a bit. And I'm going to let those cool. I'm going to start in now on my um, coriander. I'm going to put in about the same amount. So it's another two tablespoons. Now this is a little easier than the cumin. I should have started out with it first because as they get heated up, they'll begin to pop like popcorn. And you know that you're there, plus the fact you will begin to smell them. And on my cumin seed, I could have probably roasted it a little more, but... Um, I was afraid that I might burn it. And I'm, I'm, anyway, we're going to go for it. It might not be perfect, but you know, it will make a curry in a hurry. And I, I'm only going to roast a few of these, and that's what you're going to see, and then I'll put it in my grinder, I'll grind them up, and then I'll 
have my curry. Now, I I don't think the cam the camera is going to pick up the noise, but they're beginning to pop. And this is beginning to get hot. And I'm going to take them out. Okay. And there they are. Ooh. Okay. I want to put in a little bit of pepper. And this time I am not putting in two tablespoons. I'm just going to put in, I don't know, a teaspoon. But I want them roasted. I usually don't use this burner either. So I'm not, the burner I usually use, I have my pot of chicken cooking. Okay, they are beginning to pop. It's a little hard on the black pepper because they're black anyway. So I can't see them brown. But they're popping. I'm going to say that's it. Ooh. And last but not least, I think, do I have it over here? No. I am going to, oh, I want to put in a little mustard. Again, I don't want two tablespoons of this. Mm. Oh, wow. That, that, the pan is really getting hot because they are sizzling and jumping in the pan right now. So I'm going to turn it down again. Oh, wow. These are really, <laughs> you can probably see them jumping out of the pan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to... Oh, I'm going to take them up because if I don't, I may not have any left. Because they just, and I can certainly smell them. Okay, last but not least. Oh, uh -huh. Okay, I put in cardamom. I have, I made a mistake here. I've got, and it's close. I thought I was. Okay, I am going to put in. And I don't usually mix them, but I've got cloves and cardamom in the same pan. And what happened on my uh, cardamom, oh, it's cooled down now since I took it up. I, I made the mistake. I've got some whole cardamom without the pods in the same jars I have the pods. So in this pan, I have a few. Oh, and I'm going to have to just take them up. I'm going to grind these anyway. So up they come. And there. That's what I'm going to do. But that's roasting. And probably I didn't roast the cardamom, but I had enough either. But it's still going to make it. And you're not going to see me do it, but I'm going to grind each one of these up. And then I'm going to make my mix. I'm going to add a little paprika. I'm going to add a little cinnamon. And of course my turmeric. And then I'll have my curry powder. So that's it for the day. And... Um, Get yourself a nice little pan that you can just dedicate for your spices. I have a bigger one that hangs here. This I do usually my, uh, like walnuts, pecans, my almonds, and things like that that take a little more space. And I roast them same sort of theory in this pan. But this is my little spice pan. And it's... My kitchen is smelling quite spicy and nice, and I'll let you go and have a good